Are you ready to revolutionize your AI voice content? In this video, we're unlocking the secrets to creating AI voices that are indistinguishable from human speech. Whether you're a content creator, marketer, or AI enthusiast, these tips will skyrocket your AI voice game. In today's video, we're diving into five mind-blowing Eleven Labs voice tips to add pauses, emotions, and natural sounding dubbing that will elevate your voiceovers to the next level. By the end, I also give you a bonus tip and you'll be a pro at making AI voices that sound like they've got real personality. Quick question, what's the hardest emotion to convey through AI voices? Happiness, anger, tired or sadness? Share your experiences. Let's jump in and break it down. Tip one, mastering pauses. AI generated voices made in 11 labs here don't always include pauses when they should. For example, listen to this. Give me some minutes to think about it. Yes, that would work. Clearly, there should have been a pause here between sentences which Eleven Labs didn't add. But by using this piece of code here and changing this bit to the duration of the pause, we once we now get a voice over, that sounds like this. Give me some minutes to think about it. Yes, that would work. Oh my God, looking like it works perfectly. Many beginners often fall into the trap of relying on simple punctuation like periods or hyphens to create pauses in their voiceovers. While this might seem like a quick fix, it can lead to unnatural breaks and awkward tonal shifts that disrupt the flow of your voiceover. But by switching over to using this advanced technique, you'll get AI voiceovers that you can quickly add your content with natural sounding pauses. If you're loving these AI voice hacks, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest AI news and money-making strategies. Tip two, infusing emotion. Even after perfecting your pauses, you might find that Eleven Labs struggles to convey the right emotions in its AI-generated voices. To overcome this challenge, remember that Eleven Labs suggests crafting your sentences as if you were writing a book if you want to accurately get the correct emotion. So let me show you how that works now. So let's start by listening to this line. You are funny, my brother. Not really as expressive as I'd want, but if we follow Eleven Labs tips and artistry like you add, he laughed after you are funny, my brother, and give this a listen. You are funny, my brother. Just with that small change, that line's now being said much more expressively, like we want it. And here's another example, like if we wanted happy tone. Right, he said happily after, I am happy that you won tonight. Writing out the emotions this way, just like we would if we were writing a book, gets us the actual result we want. I am happy that you won tonight. Let's try another example. Like if we want some lines in angry tone, right? He shouted angrily after, why did you come late tonight? Why did you come late tonight? He shouted angrily. And then once we've downloaded this voice file, we just edit this last part out when we're applying it to whatever it's being useful. Tip three, dubbing made easy. So now we know advanced tips for getting human sounding pauses and emotions in the text to speech that we type into 11 labs. We're only getting those results in the language that we actually type into Eleven Labs. Now let's unlock a game-changing feature that can exponentially increase your content's reach and potentially your earnings. With Eleven Labs Dubbing Studio, you can effortlessly translate your AI-generated content into multiple languages, opening up new markets and revenue streams. We're just going to click down here into the Dubbing Studio, upload a video and have Eleven Labs what language we want that video translated into. And Eleven Labs is going to translate the voice, no, not the subtitle, what you are thinking. It's the actual voice in the video to any of these languages that you can see here. Well, I want to thank you all very much. This is great. These are our friends. We have thousands of friends. I want to thank you all very much. This is great. These are our friends. We have thousands of friends. This is great. We have thousands of friends. What languages are you considering dubbing your videos into and why do you think it's important to reach a global audience? Tip four, fine tuning voice settings. Let's dive into tip number four, fine tuning voice settings. Head over to the advanced settings where you can adjust the stability slider anywhere from 50% to 100%. You'll also find the style exaggeration option, which you can set between zero and 50% and get slight variations in the voices that are generated. So if you're looking to refine your output and achieve that ideal tone, don't hesitate to experiment with these settings. This fine tuning capability is crucial for creating engaging content across various platforms. For instance, you might want a more exaggerated style for TikTok videos, while a stable professional tone could be perfect for business presentations or e-learning content. Tip number five, paragraph breaks. Next, all we're going to do is simply use another method to add paragraph breaks. So we have Welcome to my YouTube channel. 
Find a video that you want to watch, kick back, relax, and enjoy the presentation. So ideally, I want some pauses in this intro. So what I'll do is add three times dashes after the sentence. Let's test it out and see how it works. Basically, the more dashes you add, the longer the pause are there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Find a video that you want to watch. Kick back, relax, and enjoy the presentation. There was also a full stop there. And then, of course, we had a comma. So that can be a reason for that. Let's check out another example. And this time I will add dash in middle of sentence in hello, my name is Adam sentence. And here's why I wanted to add the pause. So what I will do is add three dashes before Adam. Hello, my name is Adam. I hope this helps you guys a lot. Bonus tip, creative use of parentheses. Let's now talk about the bonus tip I mentioned at the beginning. There is another way of adding emotions is with parentheses, which can work sometimes. I tested this out. So if you do like whisper, don't test me. Let's see how it sounds. Don't test me. I'm angry right now. Whisper. Okay, that's not bad, but let's try with whisper. Add whispering in end of line. Don't test me. I'm angry right now. See, there you go. You'll notice how when I changed that there, it was definitely a much more of a whisper, I guess you could say. Now let's listen without the whispering, don't test me. Don't test me. I am angry right now. All right, you'll notice there's a huge difference between like being whispery and without whispery. So let's do another one. So let's take this out. Let's do yelling. When we send yelling with a simple sentence like this, who the hell are you to give me advice? We don't get perfect results. And so the point here is we have to give the background information to this AI or language model. This is what I mean. Add this sentence. He shouted at the top of his lungs after yelling and before who the hell are you to give me advice? Let's listen this now. He shouted at the top of his lungs. Who the hell are you to give me advice? So you edit this yourself, the background in sentence and put him in context with the text. Let's play with another example, but with different sentence. Why did you move the cat bowl into the living room? Okay, I heard my cat scratching at her cat food. That's the first thing that was top of mind. So let's listen this yelling and see how it works. He shouted at the top of his lungs. Why did you move the cat bowl into the living room? This technique isn't just for creative projects. In AI-driven customer service applications, using parentheses to indicate emotion can significantly improve the user experience. Making interactions feel more natural and human-like, play around with it a little. The voice that you use can really dictate how it's gonna sound because some people speak a lot faster than others like me. So make sure to try these tips to make your voiceover looks more human. Don't miss out on our upcoming videos where we'll dive into cutting edge AI technologies and show you how to leverage them for maximum profit. Hit that subscribe button now and join our community of AI innovators who are shaping the future of content creation and digital entrepreneurship. Remember, in the world of AI, staying ahead means staying informed. See you in the next video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below.